Stigma is a big problem in the mental health community. Um, neighbors don't want to live near us. Landlords don't want to rent to us. And certainly employers don't want to hire us. And uh, distant families and friends often distance themselves from us once they find out we have a mental illness. So stigma about mental illness is really awful. When there is a violent crime, you always hear in the newspaper uh, sensationalized news, uh, uh, you know, lunatic attacker and things like that, not recognizing that people with mental illness um, only commit three to four percent of all violent crimes. What has been most rewarding for me at Community Access is two things. To see some projects come to fruition, um, Community Access spearheaded a campaign to convince the mayor to better train police when they respond to those in emotional health crisis. We call these people EDPs. And we made incredible progress on that. Uh, I've sat through the police four-day training that's going on. They're going to train 5,500 officers, which is amazing. We want 10,000 trained, uh, which we'll push for. But everything is going very well in the training of police. That was a great accomplishment for Steve Coe and Community Access and the coalition. The other thing that's rewarding is when a tenant gets advocacy. That's like my mission, when a tenant gets advocacy. So you register a tenant to vote, uh, and they'll feel a vote and feel empowered. You'll ask a tenant if they want to go up to Albany with you to talk to elected officials, and they'll go up and they'll feel empowered. When you empower a tenant uh, to kind of regain control of their lives and realize they can advocate for themselves, that's a wonderful feeling.